In this video, I'm going to show you how to make your screenshots or any graphics that you add to your videos really just come alive. Here's an example of what we are going to create. So if you are interested in how you can recreate that also in Adobe Premiere Pro in just a few minutes, then make sure to stay until the end of this video and you will learn exactly how to do it. So my name is Vince and let's get right into it. So the first thing we are going to need is obviously a screenshot. So as you can see, I have uh, this screenshot right here, which I'm going to drag on my timeline and this is basically just as you can see a simple screenshot of my youtube channel i am going to show you guys two methods okay so the first one i'm going to show you is one where you uh, fill out the screen completely with your screenshot here's how you do that you want to first of all uh, scale up this um, you know screenshot to make sure you fill out the whole screen and uh, scale up a little bit even more you want to go to your effects and then search up 3d and uh, you will find this basic 3d effect right there so you want to drag and drop that on your uh, little screenshot okay and then you want to come to your effect controls after that we are going to animate the swivel and the tilt um, amount on this effect so you want to first come to the beginning of your screenshot uh, or your graphics if it's not a screenshot it's just a regular picture or whatever you know it works the same exact way so stick along and then uh, once we are in the beginning we are going to click this little toggle animation button on the tilt and the swivel and we are going to adjust these a little bit so uh, I'm going to make it uh, the, the swivel something like this like 20% and the tilt I'm going to make the tilt around uh, minus 10%, okay? And then I'm going to come to the end of this screenshot and then I will uh, adjust the swivel to, let's just say 4% or four degrees actually. These are not percentages, these are degrees. And I'm going to change the tilt um, to maybe a little bit more even like minus 13%. And as you can see, now we created this little animation in our screenshot. Uh, but you can see there is some black space there on the top. So we need to scale up uh, this thing a little bit more. So uh, even with this, we still have a little bit of black space left. So let's see if now we are all good. And yeah, we are all good. So as you can see, this is pretty subtle, like nothing crazy, but this already adds like a lot more, uh, you know, dynamics to your uh, picture compared to if it was just like a regular, you know, slowly scaling up screenshot or just a static one. Now, the next thing I'm going to add to this one is I'm going to add like a little um, overlay transition, like a film burn transition to the beginning and the end of it. So to do that, I'm just going to use um, this little, um, you know, film burn kind of like video that I got from Storyblocks. This is not a sponsored video, but it's just a regular like stock footage website. But if you look up like film burn um, overlay, then you will find a bunch of free ones as well on YouTube and other places. So we'll scale this one up as well a little bit and we will change the blend mode to screen. And this way, you know, it's going to be uh, whatever is under it is going to be also visible. I want it to start maybe like um, here. So I'm going to go ahead and make a cut there. I will put it in the beginning of this clip. Boom. And I want it to go away like here. And for the end part, I want it to maybe start like here. So I will cut that middle part out. I will drag that to the last section. And just like that, if you check that out, you can see this is how the, anim the, the screenshot animation comes in and it goes out with a little bit of this film burn as well. And I would probably add some sound effects to it as well to make it like even more dramatic. Now, after this, um, I like to also add a little bit more kind of like texture to it. Um, so a couple things I, I think look good is like one, if you add kind of like that pixelated look of, um, you know, um, a monitor, like if it was shot close up, I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, but you can also add some film grain even to it. So for example, I have, um, let's, let's just see, like uh, I have this film grain that I downloaded uh, from the internet. I'm just going to put that over these, um, you know, clips. I'm going to come to my effect controls, change the blend mode on this one as well to screen. And uh, just like that, you can see now we have this extra little, um, you know, texture on it. I'm going to change the opacity a little bit lower, somewhere around like 66%. And now if we go ahead and watch this back, 
you can see this looks pretty freaking good. Now, another thing you can do actually with this 3D effect is you can also click this show specular highlight and then it's going to add, um, you know, this little um, kind of like, I guess, lens flare to it. But um, yeah, I think that looks good sometimes. Sometimes it doesn't. So, you know, try it out, see how it looks on your project. Uh, it looks like there is kind of like a glare on your screen. So I guess that's pretty cool. So yeah, that is how you can immediately make like something more dynamic. Now, if you have um, just a regular sc screenshot that you don't want to, you know, blow up to full screen size. Another thing I like doing is creating like a little bit of a textured background. So this is again, something I just downloaded from a random stock footage website. Um, and then I'm going to, for example, with this one, I want to make it like darker. So I will just drag it down quite a bit. So it's very, very subtle. And then, um, I could basically just add the same screenshot that I animated. Um, you know, I will get rid of that. I will, uh, make it smaller. Um, and I would probably make the animation actually a lot le uh, more subtle, right? So if I had like something this big, maybe I would, um, I would uh, basically start, uh, let me animate these over again and show you guys how I would do it if I had a smaller screenshot. So yeah, I would start here again. Uh, I will still click, you know, these uh, buttons and maybe I will start from something like, like this, right? Uh, pretty subtle and then come to the end. Um, let's change it here to maybe something like this. And I will change the tilt a little bit towards that. And, uh, you know, just something a bit more subtle. Uh, I would create something like this. And you can also add a drop shadow to your screenshot if it's a smaller one and it's not filling up the whole screen. And that's going to look nice as well. So I'm going to search up drop shadow and you want to drag and drop that effect on it. Uh, come to your effect controls tab come down to your drop shadow. Okay. And here, you know, you can, uh, change all the settings you want about it. You can change the direction. You can change the distance. Um, so you can see that's kind of how it looks now. You can change the opacity, uh, the softness. So I'm pretty happy with kind of how, how this looks, I guess, uh, the direction could be different. Maybe something like this, um, change the distance. So I'm quite happy with how that looks. Um, as you can see now the drop shadow itself is not super visible because it's already a dark background, but in my opinion, that looks pretty good. I can just take it from here. This same overlay, right? That I got, I put on the other clip as well. And you can see now it looks even cooler. These are two ways you can make your screenshots really come alive for your YouTube videos or, you know, even like other kind of projects. Um, so the second method is kind of more so when you have smaller screenshots and you just want to, you know, fit it in, in your screen. I recommend creating a background like how we just did uh, for it here. And the first method is more so when you want to, you know, showcase uh, like a screen grab or a picture of something and make it full screen on your video. And you don't want to, you know, have it be boring, uh, add this kind of like 3D animation effect to it. So hope you guys enjoyed. If you found it valuable, make sure to check out more stuff on the channel. And if you want to learn more about content creation and mastering Premiere Pro and learning how to create amazing thumbnails in Photoshop, growing your channel, all that good stuff, then go ahead and check out Magnetic Edit in the description below and join my community of other aspiring content creators. We do bi-weekly group coaching calls there, so it's a pretty cool place to be. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy this again and I will see you in the next one.